for today. So this is the order that we're gonna do the class. We're gonna start, I'm just gonna take some homework questions from you guys if you have stuff. Um, after that, we'll talk about the test format. So like number of questions, how many questions, that kind of stuff. Um, any remaining time we have between lunch, I'd like you to start on the Delta Math assignment. If you haven't registered for Delta Math yet, we'll review how to do that again and show you where the assignment is. But it's just practice using law of sines and cosines. Um, we'll do that till lunch. We'll come back from lunch, we'll do the homework quiz, and then any remaining time you have after the homework quiz, which there should be a lot of, you can continue working on your Delta Math if you need to, or you can start on the review. And I guess I noticed that a couple of people did do, um, have started their Delta Math, so I guess it's conceivable they finish that before lunch, in which case you can start on the review there if you've already started and you're finished or whatever. Caden? Absolutely. Yeah, so let's start with questions from the homework. Um, Caden wants to look at number five. Yeah. All right. So it asks, are there zero, one, or two triangles for the possible measurements? The only time this can happen is in an SSA situation. So I'm just going to start by drawing a picture and making sure that I'm in an SSA situation. So I notice that I have two sides and an angle, but the given angle isn't in between the two sides, like the two sides don't make my angle. So this is the SSA situation. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the size of my given angle. Here that's angle A. I notice that's greater than or equal to 90 degrees. So that means that we're either gonna have zero or one. We can't have two triangles. To tell the difference for one triangle, in our case, since we're given angle is A, the side opposite that needs to be the biggest angle. It's gonna be zero triangles in the other situation. And this is what we have, right? 18 is bigger than 14. So this should be zero triangles. Don't? Duan? Sorry. Sure. Caden, are you happy with what we did there? Uh, yeah. Okay. No problem. Uh, 12. Okay. Uh, so here it says the two triangles can be formed. So we already know that this is the SSA ambiguous case situation. Um, for the sake of review, I'm going to just start from if as if I didn't know that and sh again point out how we identify that and then go ahead and solve those two triangles. Is that okay? So I just the part I'm going to start with isn't necessary for this specific problem, but it's good review as to like how you know in these SSA cases what to do. So I'm just going to start that way. So again, draw a picture acting as if I did not already know that this was an SSA situation, which I do know from now from the picture. Um, my given angle is less than 90 degrees. So I have uh, two cases. I have one triangle if um, angle B is bigger than angle C or I have zero, one, or two triangles if the opposite is true, which is where we're at. So to determine what's going on, what I do is I start by setting up a law of signs. Oops, that should be, I know the value for B. And then I cross multiply. So 21 sine C equals 25 sine 38. And then I divide both sides by 21. 
And now rather than uh, trying to solve for C, I'm stopping here and evaluating because um, this number 25 times sine 38 over 21 is going to tell me the number of triangles. So if it's bigger than one, I have zero triangles. If it's equal to exactly one, I'll have one triangle. And if it's less than one, I'll have two triangles. So just to type this in my calculator and kind of show what's happening. So I have alpha y equals, I'm gonna use that fraction command there so I can type it in exactly like it looks on my sheet of paper. Um, at some point today, I would wanna check the mode of my calculator as well to make sure I'm in degree mode. I know I am because I have know what I've been doing for the last you know, three weeks or whatever. So the number I get is less than one. So that's how I know this is two triangles. Now to actually start the part of the question that Duan asked about. So we're gonna have two sets of answers, one from triangle one and one for triangle two. So my, uh, was that a B? Okay. So the givens are the same in both triangles. So I know angle B is 38, and I know side B is 21, and I know that side C is 25. And to find angle C1, well, I have already, I know that sine C1 is equal to 25 sine 38 over 21. So to get that angle C1, I'm just going to do the sine inverse then of both sides. So if I go to my calculator, I'll do sine inverse, and then I already have the number there, so I'll just do the ANS command. So I get 4713 for my angle C1. Now to find angle C in triangle two, that's actually easier because the that angle C in triangle two is just gonna be the supplement for the angle C in triangle one. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's easy enough. So 132.87. Now in each of these two triangles, I know two of the three angles. So to find angle A, I can just do 180 minus angle B minus my angle C. And I'll do the same thing in triangle two, um, but I have a different value for angle C in triangle two. So 9487 for angle A and triangle one. Was that 9487? And then in triangle two, it's 9.13. And I have one last thing to solve for. I have to solve for a side C. So in triangle one, I'm gonna just do sine B 
over b equals sine uh no not i'm not looking for side c i'm sorry i'm looking for side a that's the missing piece so i'll use angle a and in triangle two i'm going to set up the same law of sines but i need to use my value for angle a in triangle two Is that okay? Okay. And now we just cross multiply and divide to solve these two equations. So it's after that, it's just calculator time. Oops. Let's do that. 21 times sine of 9487 divided by 21, oops, by, sorry, sine 38. So 3399. And then the other one, 21 times sine of 913 divided by sine 38. And that's How many triangles? Yep. So it depends on the situation. So if I have angle, angle, side, can only be one. I have angle, side, angle, can only be one. If I have side, angle, side, can only be one. If I have side, 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 I can have zero or one. The way you check is that leg plus leg has to be greater than the hypotenuse. That's our check. If that's true, you get one triangle. If it's false, there can be zero triangles. The confusing one is the SSA case. So you have to check the first thing we check is the size of the given angle. If it's greater than or equal to 90 degrees, you can have one triangle or you can have zero triangles. To check, is that side opposite the given angle? It has to be greater than the other given side. Otherwise, you have zero triangles. So if the side opposite the given angle is less than or equal to the other given side, no triangle is possible. So if that given angle is less than 90 degrees, again, we have one triangle, or that ambiguous case, zero, one, or two triangles. For one triangle, if the side opposite the given angle is greater than or equal to the other side, 
there's just one triangle. And then this one where the side opposite the given angle is less than the other given side. That's where we're going to end up in that 0, 1, or 2. And the way we dealt with that was what we did here, where we set up that law of sines and, and solve for sine of the missing angle and saw if that value was bigger than 1, equal to 1, or less than 1. Yeah, sure. It's also in the OneNote, right? As I'm writing it right now. So you could always go into your OneNote and look in the content library for today. If it's there at the same place. But if you want to take a picture, that's fine too. Sure. Yes, Olivia. Yes. And and even and even better than that, it's a side side angle where the given angle is acute. Right, like if I have a side side angle and the given angle is 115, I can't have two triangles. Right, it has to be an acute angle that you're given. And even better than that, the side opposite that given angle has to be the shorter of the two sides that are given. So of the given angle. Well, it has the possibility of being two triangles. You still have to do that. You still have to do this calculation to figure out whether it's going to be zero, one, or two. The one circle? Yeah. So if it's one, if the side length is above one, or is it if the. So what we're calculating here is the sign of the of the missing angle. If that's bigger than one, zero. If it's equal to one, there's one. If it's less than one, there's two. Okay. And the way we did that was just using the law of signs. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yes, sir. So number seven. Yeah. Sure. So, if you have 1.04, it's greater than 4, so it equals 0 triangles. Like, even by 0 0.04, uh -huh. it would still yeah. equal 0? Yes. Okay. Bigger than 1 is bigger than 1. Not rounded. All the decimal points count. Okay. No, That's I figured like I did the problem, but then if it just is asking for the length of the O, would that just be uh, this then? So this was a um, side angle side situation. So the length of O was just going to be like this value for C. Oh, so, okay. just, so I didn't even need to do all this. Yeah, and it says rounded to the nearest inch. So it should just be 299. Okay. Stop. Okay, right, because the near if these were inches. Gotcha. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Um, let's take a minute and talk about this uh, the test format here, and then we can uh, do some uh, delta math practice and hopefully feel a bit better about what we're about to do for the homework quiz. Right. Um, since the delta math is just asking you to like instead of solve the whole triangle just do like one part of it or whatever so I have four questions So I'm going to give you um, I'm going to ask you what I'm going to give you some values and I'm going to ask you what type of problem do we have i.e. is it angle side angle 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 side 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 angle etc and 
I'll ask you how many triangles? So zero, one, or two. We'll have two solve the triangle questions. Huh? Oh, were you? You weren't here on the first day. Yeah, but I did, did you... the Delta math thing with the other guy. I like signed up. Like, okay, the... just give me a second okay. on the Delta math then. Um, we have one question where we ask you to solve a two triangles situation. So much like that homework problem 12 that Dewan asked about, where it's, I've told you there's two triangles here. And two questions where I ask you to find the areas for the triangle. So you'll be given on the test the law of sines, law of cosines, and both area formulas. And as per usual, um, you can you you make a half sheet of notes. Um, and this is due since I guess since we're not taking the test next class period, we can just have it due at the end of next class period. There's no rush on that. Okay. Again, not required that you do that, but you do make a half sheet of notes. You can write on both sides. That's fine. Um, put anything on there you want. Turn it in by the end of next class. I'll give it back to you on the test day. You can use it with your test. What is the delta math? Uh, is it do, do I have it set for this Sunday? Okay. <laughs> Olivia, it's not letting you. Yeah. No, I even like went to the top thing and it says I'm in third hour. Did you change classes? Yeah. Okay. Just. Yeah, just. Yeah, because I had second hour. Chapter seven, okay. Oh. I do that. No, it's working. It wouldn't let me like get in. <laughs> I, I didn't know you had to tap on the letters. It's okay. It's okay. You're welcome. Again, as you guys are working on stuff, feel free if you're stuck, come up and ask questions. That's fine. No big deal. 
Let me know if things are going poorly. Hopefully you feel a bit better about what we're doing after doing a little bit more examples and you'll have some chance to practice a little bit with the Delta math. You know what I mean? Get some immediate feedback on things. Should feel a little bit better.